ministry and television program and international evangelistic ministry reaching souls around the world for Jesus. A ministry with signs and wonders, healing and deliverance with your host, a Latter-day Apostle, a man with God's vision for today, one who's reaching out to the lost at any cost around the world for Jesus, Apostle Ronnie Bailey. Apostle Bailey is a man of God operating in the gifts of the Spirit, healing miracles, and with the prophetic anointing upon his life. He has been called out by God to break down strongholds, break victory over drug and alcohol addicted people, poverty, generational curses, and all other spiritual bondages to bring God's holy restoration to souls around the world. If you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourself to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262. That's And I'm so thankful to God to be here to speak on prayer, fasting, and intercession because we know that prayer is the heart of God. Prayer is the heart of Jesus. Amen. This is what Jesus did. He prayed for the church. Jesus said that my, my church, my church shall be called a house of prayer. This is prayer. We know that prayer is divine communication with God. And when we pray, it's very important that we lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. When we speak about prayer, intercession is my heart. Praying for others, praying the need of others. In Hebrews chapter 4 Verse 15 through 16, it says here, For we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. And let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace to find mercy Amen. to help in the time of need. Now it says here to come boldly 
to the throne of grace. We have that option. We have that right to come boldly to the throne of grace because of Jesus Christ, because of the blood of Jesus Christ. We have that right to come to the throne of grace. We can come behind the veil. And the, the veil speaking here is the flesh of Jesus. Jesus died in order for us to come to the Amen. throne of grace. And it says that we also we also have an advocate with the Father. First John two verses one and two. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. If any man sin, we have an advocate. An advocate is our helper who helps us in the time of need. Hallelujah. Jesus took our sins. See, he was touched by the feelings of our infirmities. Jesus never sinned. But he knows what we go through. So he's able to pray for us. He's able to stand in that gap for us because he knows what it is to, to be in the flesh. He knows what it is to be sorrowful. He knows what it is to feel pain. And Jesus is the one. He's our high priest, the Bible says, who is now passed into the heavens. We have a high priest over the house of God who is Christ the Lord. And he intercedes on, the, on our behalf. The Bible says in Hebrews 7, 25, that he's always able to save to the uttermost those who come to God. So he ever liveth to make intercession. He saves to the uttermost. He did what the priest in the Old Testament could not do. Come on. So it was total and complete. Amen. Jesus is our intercessor and he lives to intercede for us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May you Amen. be blessed in Jesus name. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Let's give our hands. Come on now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayer is the key. Thank you, yes. Evangelist Augustine, for the mighty, wonderful word. Oh, yes. Prayer Amen. is the key, and faith unlocks the door. Oh, yes. Jesus yes. prayed at all times, and he wants us to pray. But when you pray, you must believe That's that right. God is able to do above <coughs> and beyond measures. My next guest is going to come with a powerful message. Let him, let him, I'm going to let him introduce himself. Amen. Amen. Let's give him a hand. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, so much can be said about prayer, but first thing we have to know that we've been born of the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. And that's the way we can have a good relationship with God. Right. Amen. We thank God for, amen, Pastor Hilda. She's doing an excellent job for amen. Amen. Apostle Bailey. Amen. 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 So we pray God that he have a safe trip and he make it here, amen, because yes, the traffic is bad out there. Oh, yeah. And amen. then it ran, and then there are folks that are driving mm -hmm. all, all kind of way. Me and, me and our elder, uh, uh, Frank, we've seen them ducking in front and everything, amen? amen. So that's telling us right there that we need to be praying no matter where we're at. Amen. Y'all with me here? Um, amen. amen. See, some folks want to find a certain place to pray, but we, the Bible says we must always pray. Right. Amen. Come on, and not faint. Not faint, not faint, not Amen. faint about praying. Cause, and I and I love I love a, a scripture saying in Hebrew. There are times we don't even know what to pray for. That's right. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. But the Holy Spirit would help us right. in our infirmity, to help us in our weakness, to be able to pray for what need to be prayed for, Amen. and it might not be in a language that you you understand. Amen. Amen. It might not be. Come on, cause the scripture say it, it, it beyond our understanding. Go ahead, on, Jesus. Oh yeah, because you see, that's time. I, I, I had I had some note, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone. Hey, Amen. <laughs> I have. I, 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 there are time that you are pray, pray a prayer. Hey, Amen. You praying, but somebody take your prayer and use it for a gossip piece. Yes. And if God don't want you to understand what he, what, what the Holy Spirit is saying. Amen. Just let the Holy Spirit say what he said. That's a gift God has given you. Amen. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. And I thank God when I looked at that. I said, you know, that's, he said, you going to speak word that beyond your utterance that you would even. I said, well, hey, that makes sense. If God wants everybody to understand what you're saying other than him, hallelujah. Well, let us do it in a, in a regular language. Amen. That's why Paul said, I'd rather speak five languages with, with understanding than 10,000 without understanding. He didn't say nothing but praying. He was talking about, he talking about speaking and, and teaching. That's two different things. Pray, teaching is one thing. So you want to teach where everybody can understand. 
Amen. Praying is another thing. And saints of God, we got we know that. We know that we know that from the, the things that we've been through. There are times that we be praying and we don't even know what we're praying for. Come on, we, we be praying for something that God have already done. Amen. Something that uh, Amen already done took place, but yet we're praying for it. Amen. And it, it, it's so important that we yield to the Spirit of God and let the Spirit of God, Amen, give us what exactly what to pray for. Amen. amen. Because it, whether you believe it or not, all over the world, people need prayer. Amen. And who else is going to talk to God other than those that who have been born of God? Amen. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Yeah, amen. Right. He's in the Bible. He's in the Bible. He, he, look, he, he saved us. Right, right this. He saved us. Allowed a new birth to take place in us. Left us here. Amen. amen. To, to do what? To pray. That's right. To pray. Amen. It, yeah. Don't try to minister. Don't try to preach. Don't try to teach. Amen. Except praying. You got to pray. Amen. You got to pray to do what? To get the, the revelation from God. Amen. And what to pray for, God got to give it to you. What you got to teach, God going to give it to you. Amen. Amen. See, we can, we, we can study all night long, but guess what? God knows exactly what he wants to say to his people. And the, and the scripture that we always quote, always quote that scripture. <laughs> uh, what that Corinthians, second, uh, second Chronicles 7 and 14. If Amen. My people. What that say? Who is saying that? Call by my Jesus name. And we and we and we and we depending on everybody. We depending on all folk. Humbleness. We depending on. I mean, I mean, who is this people? Jesus said, "Who is this people?" Jesus said, "Those that humble themselves into the mighty hands of God." Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. We have to humble ourselves. Amen. We have to pray without stopping. We got to pray. Amen. Without partiality. Oh God, help me here. Lord Jesus, it's so much going on in this world today. And we expect uh, the world ain't going to straighten it up. We got, his people got to do it. Right. Come on, amen. We got to continually pray. We got to, whether we believe it or not, I know some folks say that might not be right, but we got we got to pray more than we go preaching. Amen. Come on, amen. Because Jesus on, did more man. praying than preaching. Amen. Come on here. Amen. And we just amen. thank God, amen, for this opportunity. And to you that, uh, amen, that are viewing this, amen, this telecast. Amen. You got to search your own self. You got to know for yourself. Because, amen, you, you, it's not what you hear. It, amen, it's not who you hear. It. Amen. It's what you hear from God in your heart. Because right. I'm a living witness. And I, amen. amen and, I, and I know, I, I, I know that I'll fall to prayer. But when God asks me in, in that audible voice, ain't you tired of the life that you're living? Amen. And, I, and, and, and before I can even think, I say, Lord, I've been tired. But I just don't have no power to say no to the devil. He said, trust me. Try me. And that was 1981. <clears throat> amen. So if you're hearing this test, if, it, it, amen, if you're looking at this telecast now, amen, and you have not made a commitment, if you have not came to a decision, amen, we together praying for you, amen, that the Lord, amen, the word that the Lord sent to you, that you would open up your heart and let the Lord come in. Amen. We can't save you, but we can tell you how to get saved. And that's what we are here for right now. We thank God for you. Amen. We pray God bless and be with you in your whole household. Amen. I, I read in the Bible where two men was praying in prison. Amen. And the prison keeper thought he had to kill himself because he thought they had left out the prison. And guess what? Amen. Paul told him, don't kill yourself because we are all right here. It's in the book of Acts. Amen. And guess what? Not only did the man got what Paul and them had, amen, his whole house got it. So I'm saying to you now, if you give God your heart, turn yourself over to God. Say, God, I can't fight this battle by myself. I need you and I can't save myself. Amen. Here I am, Lord. Take me and use me. Amen. Take me for your kingdom. Amen. Tell it to him right now. And I guarantee you, amen, before you, before the night is over, you will be a safe character. God bless you, and God keep you. Amen. 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 Let's amen. give him a hand. And Pastor Jasmine, since you were so good to invite the guests to come, let Jesus come into their hearts, why don't you lead them unto prayer? Lead them to Hallelujah. accept the Lord as they pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, amen. Jesus. And amen. And, and I'm going to do this to those that are viewing that are not saved. Yes. Come on, amen, because I, I, don't, I don't like to pray I don't like to ask people to pray for what they already have. Amen. All of us here already saved. Amen. Yeah. But we gotta I'm praying for people. those right here that are looking at this TV. And I know they got folks in prison. And I know they got folks on my job that look, to, look at us every now and then. Amen. I know they got folks in the hospital. Amen. And I say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Jesus. Lord. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Here I am. A wretch and undone. 
And Lord, I need you. I need salvation. I need salvation, Lord. And only you can give me that need, Lord. You left a void in my heart, Lord, that nothing can fill it. Nothing can fulfill this void that you have left in me, Lord. God, I need you to fulfill this void. I done tried everything. And nothing seemed to satisfy, Lord. Lord God, I know I know the void is there because I done tried alcohol. I done I done tried to listen to sex. I done tried everything I can think of. Lord, I done tried it all. Come on, yes, Jesus. But I find out I'm still in, yes, I'm still Lord. coming my up God. short, Lord. My I'm still Hallelujah. got this void, yes, Lord. Lord. Come Thank into you, my Lord. life, yes, Lord. My me. heart is feel open me. to yes, you, Lord. Lord. Yes, and Lord. I invite you to come into my yes, life. Lord. Say yes. me, Lord, that I can yes, be an Lord. example to my family. Say yes, me, Lord, that I can invite others to you, yes, Lord. Say me, Lord, that I can wake out my own soul. Don't just say me and take me out, Lord. Say me and let me wake my wake in your kingdom, Lord. Lord God, be a living witness, Lord. Be a living testimony. Do it for me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Of say, Jesus. And I say, Lord, I thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, thank that you have heard my prayer. Yes. Yes. I thank, thank you, Lord, Lord. Thank you. that you have come into my life, yes. Lord. Yes. And I say, not denounce you. Yes. I thank don't you. belong Jesus. to you no more. Yes. I belong yes. to the Lord. I belong to my God. Yes. Yes. I belong yes. to my Savior. Yes. Yes. I'm his, and I'm not yours. Yes. Yes. And Satan, yes. keep your hands off of me. Yes. You yes. can try to tempt me, but I know there's an escape for me, and I'm going to follow and follow and follow the escape from you. In yes, the name Lord. of Jesus, the name of I Jesus. declare I'm saved right now. In yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. 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 We just Amen. thank God for yes, Pastor Lord. Jasmine Jesus. inviting you into the Lord. Jesus. We thank God for Jesus. Oh, There's yes. nothing too hard yes, for yes. God. Yes. For with God, all things oh. are possible oh, to yes. them that oh, yes. believe. Yes. And he that coming to God must believe that yes, he is Lord. what he said he is. Oh, yes. We have another exciting guest coming to you, and he's going to come in his own way. Oh, but yes. today's topic is about prayer, yes. fasting, and intercession. Yes. Why pray? If you don't believe, come Amen. on. Amen. If you pray, you yes. leave it at the foot of the cross come on, come on. and say, God, I know you're going to work it out. Oh, yes. Yes, God, Lord. I know you're going right. to fix That's it. Right. Yes, you Lord. may not have a dollar in your pocket, yes, yes, but guess what? If you say, Lord, I thank you. Yes, Lord, Lord, I appreciate you. Lord, yes, if there's Lord. anything standing in the way yes. Yes, that Lord. I have not did right, yes, God, Lord. I ask you to move it. Yes. Now, we're going to have another guest come on. We feel we're fire. Yes. Hallelujah. We're waiting on. We're waiting on Apostle Bailey, and he should be here next. And if not, I love you all, and I hope you enjoyed it so far. Amen. 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 You are watching Rock of Ages Media Ministries International. As a ministry, we are here to help you in regards to biblical counseling and prayer. So please don't hesitate to call or write in regards to any counseling needs or prayer requests that you may have. Our prayer, counseling, and information hotline numbers are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. Or feel free to write us at Rock of Ages Ministries International, 201 South College Road, Suite 214, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. Our email address is rockofagesmens at ll.com. Our website is www.ronniebailey.com. Amen, amen, amen. I hope you enjoyed the show so far. Hallelujah. Let's say praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We hallelujah. Glory to God. We just thank God for his mercy and his grace. And I'm going to let another guest of mine introduce himself. 
and we're going to go it on in the Lord. Amen. Let God have his way. Amen. 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 My name is Frank Mercadell. I've just been called into the ministry about Amen. two years now. Hallelujah. And my, my spirit is telling me to speak on the adversary. Would that be okay? That's fine. Okay. It's fine. I want to talk Amen. to some of the people out there. A lot of these people out there are actually on dope, stealing, robbing, molesting, the whole nine yards. But it's a bad spirit that has come across on you. What happened in my life, the spirits came to me and was handling me until I saw myself shaking on the side of my bed, three, four o'clock in the morning. Hallelujah. I couldn't understand what was going on. And I've had pastors come to the house and they would say, something is driving these things back to your house. Like it's calling them there. Something you're not repenting of. I would repent every night, all day long. Amen. I couldn't understand what was going on. Amen. And then I took grips on this and God was telling me that your calling is to deal with the adversary. Mm. Now, I've had people tell me earlier on that this is, is going to be your calling. I said, I don't want this calling. <laughs> now, I, want, I won't do anything other than what I'm doing right now. I love what I'm doing. And what pulled me out of it and gave me strength was the name Jesus. Yes. Amen, when I Amen. called the name Jesus, he couldn't stay. When I learned of the anointing oil, he couldn't stay. Right. It gave me the strength that I needed to go on. Right. Now I'm hiring people that are on drugs that's trying to find a way out. Amen. That has gotten a humble part of themselves Amen. so that I can feed them during the day. I love what I do. I praise him and glorify him all day long, mm -hmm. every night. Mm -hmm. I find myself at night just going into a praise and worship because I learned that the, the devil trembles right. from the praise and worship. Right. Less long the name of Jesus. Right. Say that. Say now, that. I realized that he had no power over me. That when Jesus died on the cross on, yeah. from the blood of his yes, wounds, yes, yes. I received the power over all the land. All right. So when I realized that, I said, well, why is this Satan coming at me? Hmm. It's because he wanted not only to stop me from where I was, my destination line, hmm. but to steal what I had, which was my power from Jesus. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you out there, you don't have to just be on dope. Or, or robberies or, or breaking in people's houses or what have you, talking about somebody else's business, mm -hmm. being envious of somebody what somebody else has. Mm -hmm. You have to appreciate God, appreciate what he give you, and serve him Amen. for the rest of your life. Amen. This is our job. Our job is not, a lot of people talk about, well, you know, I pray and I can't get, this taken care of, or I can't pay this, or uh, there's no growth in my life. That's because you're not letting go of it. Let God go say, let go, go and, and let give it go. to me. Right. I will supply all of your needs. Amen. If he's going to supply all of my needs, why should I worry? Amen. So when I realized all of these things, it became a part of my life. Amen. And I'm so proud and happy of myself. Although there's those that's out there say, oh, no, can't be Mercadell. Not Brother Mercadell. Oh, no. But I go to God and I say, God, you know something? There's those that don't believe that can't receive. But I want you to show your powers through me and let them see what your works can do in an individual. Hallelujah. All he, he asks is that we serve him. Amen. And, it, and I realize that it's so easy to lead, to live because I don't have to worry about anything. I can just go on with a daily routine and let him take care of my life. Amen. Say that, say that. What do I have to worry about? All right. What are y'all worrying about? Your life is in shambles. You don't know which way to turn. Turn your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. And he's going to pull you through this. Amen. Yes, Lord. I used to say about some people that look at life the way I'm looking at it now, Jesus. that these are Jesus freaks. Right. And I said, well, I've become that. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's all right, Jesus. I've become Hallelujah. that. And this Psalms 91, 
save me. It stays open every night in my room. This thing had came to my bed, scared me, and I thank God every day till today that this happened in my life because it was the fear of the adversary to make me realize the power that I had in Jesus that they can't withstand. Hallelujah. So now instead of me shaking on my bed, he's shaking. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's Glory. the power of God. Yeah, Lord. I never realized that the word Jesus was so strong. Oh, yes. Say that, oh, say yes. that, brother. Jesus. I Jesus. never knew it. Now I go through my house and I just call his name throughout Jesus. my house. When I feel him, or if I get an inkling that he's in there, Amen. I command him Jesus. to leave. You have no authority over me. They had a guy call me this morning that I'm trying to get to work because he's going through a lot in his life. And I told him, I said, he said, uh, Brother Mercadell, I called you because I need prayer. And prayed with him. Mm -hmm. So God is doing a movement in my life. Thank you, Jesus. And I've written paper, paperwork on movement, of God. Hallelujah. And I hope this helps somebody out there that can change your life as God has changed mine. Amen. 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 Oh, let's give the brother a hand. Amen. Two wow. years. <laughs> One day is like a thousand and two years. Oh, Lord, I was to the Lord. Um, as you spoke on, I, I'm going to go to the scripture, Matthew 6 and 25. That's it. Amen. It said, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life. Uh -huh. Why take thought for your life? Yes. Nah. Amen. What shall you eat? Or yes. what shall you drink? Uh, what? Nor yet for your body. Yes. What shall you put on? Is not life more than meat and the body raiment? Yes. Amen. Behold the fowls of the air. Yes. They sow not. Yes. Neither do they reap. Yes. Nor gather into bones. Yet your heavenly father feeded them. Are ye not better than, than they? them? Come on. Amen. Oh, you little Amen. Oh, So without yeah, faith, it. it's what? impossible That's to please right. the That's Lord. That's it. That's Amen. it. Amen. If God can take care of just the little bitty birds who tweet, tweet, tweet outside your window, yeah. what wouldn't he do for, for those us. that praise the Lord? That's right. What wouldn't he do for those that lift up their hands That's and say, right. Lord, yeah, I yeah, thank yeah, you? Yeah. What wouldn't he do? He say, have, I, have you asked anything that I'm not able to do? Nah. Is Amen. anything too hard for God? Amen. He say, I know not. Amen. Amen. But I'm, I'm going to go and let my next guest go on and take it over. Powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Praise Let's Lord. receive her as she comes. Praise the Lord. Amen. I give God glory and I give God honor. And I just thank God for his mercies and I thank God for his kindness yes. because God is so good. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank yes, God Lord. for this opportunity that my pastor has allowed me to come and speak a word concerning prayer. Hallelujah. Because at this, where we are at in our world today, we need more prayer. Amen. 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 And uh, he called me this morning and he said, uh, Temple, he said, I want you to come. And I want you to be on the, on the program. At first, I was sort of like hesitant and like, hey, I haven't gotten anything together. And, I, and mine said to me, well, when I called you, I told you to go. So I started <laughs> I getting myself Jesus. ready. Amen. But I want to pick up where uh, Brother Mercadell left off at because so many of us that are in the world today that the enemy has told us that you're not worthy. You know Amen. that Hallelujah. God doesn't hear your prayer. Amen. And, and, and because of that, so many of us, we don't know how to approach God mm -hmm. and how to come to God. Mm -hmm. And I heard the subject was on intercessory, mm -hmm. prayer, and fasting. But uh, I'd just like to look at uh, Psalms uh, 24 and that third verse. Mm -hmm. It says, Who shall ascend? into the hill of the Lord. Come on Amen. now. Or who shall stand in his holy place? Amen. And then he answers it. First he asks the question. Right. Who's able to do it? All right. Amen. Come on now. And then he comes back and he answers. He answers us. He say, he that had clean hands. So somebody yeah. might say, my hands are not clean. <laughs> my hand have been places that it shouldn't have been. I've lifted up my hand to idols and worship idols. Amen. And they said, well, I'm, I'm, that's not none of me. You can't be talking about me. Hallelujah. They said, he that had clean hands and a pure heart, uh -huh. who 
who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. So he said, this is the one that can go into what? The holy mountain. Amen. That can go before a holy God. Amen. Amen. You got to have what? Clean hands. Yes, Lord. And you got to have a clean heart. If we go over to John 15 and 3. Amen. Amen. If we Come go over Jesus. to John. Oh, yes, Lord. 15 and 3. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, It sister. said, John said, now ye are clean through the word uh -huh. which I have spoken unto you. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Amen. Yep. Hallelujah. So how do we get clean? Through the when word. We, when we subject ourselves uh -huh. to the teaching of Almighty God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Amen. When we sit under the word, when we receive Amen. the word, the word goes into that stiff heart. Amen. Amen. And it begins to break up that old heart. Amen. Yes, Lord. And Ezekiel say he would take out that old heart that heart of stone. Yes, Lord. He said, and I will give you a brand new heart. Yes, Lord. Amen. He said, I'll give you a heart of flesh. Thank he you, said, Jesus. not only will I give you a heart of flesh, mm -hmm. he said, but I will even give you my spirit. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. And what is the spirit of God? Nah. The spirit of God is meek, humble, and That's obedient. Right. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Come on. And, and God and Jesus, he did nothing except he did what? He went to the Father. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yeah. And he asked the Father for direction. Yes, he Lord. asked the Father for guidance. Amen. Yes, Lord. So somebody said, Well, how can I get it? He said, He said to his disciples, He said, I go. To the he said, I'm going to leave you. Mm -hmm. He said, But when I leave, he said, I'm going to send another back. That's he right. said, When he come, he mm -hmm. said, He's going to lead you. He's going to guide you yes, Lord. into all truths. Oh, amen. Lord. So the only way we can get into the presence of God right. is that we got to stay under the word. Amen. Yes, Lord. It is the word that purifies us. Clean it up. is the word that cleanses us. Right. It is the word that renews in us. Amen. David, if David were here, David said, renew in me a clean heart That's right. and a right spirit. Amen. David said, I can't. I can't convert others until first I get cleaned up. Amen. Amen. I got to first get cleaned up That's before right. I can go and tell anybody else. That's right. And I thought about the word supplication. The scripture said that before we can bring our gifts, he said we first got to get our own self clean. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I can't bring somebody else to God if I'm dealing with stuff myself. Amen. Amen. So first I got to what? Acknowledge. Amen. Who I am first, That's amen. Right. That's right. He said, if I confess my faults uh -huh. and repent, uh -huh. he said, then he's faithful and he's just yes. Yes, Lord. to forgive me of what? Of all my sins, amen. amen. Hallelujah. So some of us, our prayers are not being heard because we're still walking around with guilt consciousness, oh, amen. Yes. But if we go before God, amen, and say, Lord, I've sinned. Lord, I've gone contrary to your word. But now, God, I submit myself to you. Hallelujah. Now, God, take me and shape me yes, and mold Lord. me yes, and Lord. renew in me a right spirit, God, Hallelujah. that I can receive your word, Father. Yes, because Lord. he says some of the word went in good ground, some went in stony ground. Yes, Lord. He says some went amongst the, uh, the, the torrents and thistles, the wayside, and it didn't prosper. Yes, but Lord. when it find good ground, Amen. it'll Amen. begin to renew a right spirit oh, inside of right. you. And that spirit will be ready to say, Alpha Father, Alpha right. Father, Alpha. Amen. Alpha. Call it out to the Father. God, use me that I can be the light, that I can be a salt in this dark world that we're living in. Yes, Lord. Because we need more prayer warriors today that's on the battlefield, Amen. Yes, that's Lord. standing in the gap, that's standing in the trenches, Amen. amen. Praying for our children, praying for our family, praying for our churches, praying for the preachers. We need more prayer warriors today praying, amen? amen? But first of all, what? We got to have clean hearts. That's amen. Right. That's right. Amen. We got to have clean hearts, amen. Amen. amen? Because he said what? He told us, he said, look, if you got a knock with your brother, he said, leave go your ahead, gift right and go get right with your brother. Right. And then when you get right with your brother, then yeah. come back, amen? Amen. Right. But don't come with dirty hands. Amen. And a filthy heart. Amen? Amen. Because God said that he hates sin. Amen. He said yes. sin is stench in his nostrils. Right. So some of our prayers are not being heard because why? Amen. We are not who we say we are. Yes. Right. But if he said, if my people, as my pastor often say, would humble himself. He's talking to the church. Amen. And he said, 
and turn from their what? Their wicked Wait, ways. That's right. And seek my face. Yes, Lord. He said, then will I hear from heaven. Yes, Lord. And then I will what? Heal, heal the, the land. land. Yes, Our Lord. land needs to be healed. Amen. Yes, Amen. Lord. So I pray that I've said something. Amen. Today. To let you know that no matter what state you're in, you that God can take a nobody, get right. that God can take a nothing, right. and God can turn it into something. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give a hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. We enjoyed, we enjoyed all of the ministers, and we hope you've enjoyed all the minister. But we have more to come. Amen. This is just the beginning. We're going for a little break, and then we'll come with the rest. Don't change that dial now. Amen. <laughs> that Jesus shared for me way back on Calvary. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It would never, 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 never lose its power. Oh, it reaches to the highest mountain. Oh, it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never It's power. Oh, the blood, oh, the blood, oh, the blood don't shine my name. Oh, the blood, oh, the blood, oh, the blood don't shine my name. Oh, the blood, oh, the blood, oh, the blood don't shine my name. Oh, the blood don't shine my name. Yes, yes. My soul says yes, Jesus, 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 ooh, Jesus. Now we're celebrating, at least I'm celebrating, the birthday of my mother, and my father, my mother's was March 11th, amen. She was 90 years old when she expired. And my father's is coming up on April 18th. Hallelujah. My mother was 90, my dad was 104. They were both very supportive of this ministry. So um, we just want to remember them. And also I want to commemorate my 44th year in the Lord. Amen. So that's three occasions, one celebration. Hallelujah. We thank Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Glory. We're back again with Glory. more fire. Hallelujah. If you forgot to call somebody, you got a few more minutes to call somebody. Amen. But I'm going to introduce you to my next, next guest. Amen. We're talking today on prayer, fasting, and intercession. Yes, Lord. We would like you to know prayer is the answer. Mm -hmm. Amen. And faith unlocks the door. Amen. That's right. Once yep. you pray, believe that the Lord will hear your prayer. Amen. Believe that he will answer. Praise God. It's not on your time because the Bible says his ways are not like your ways, Amen. nor his Amen. thoughts like our ways. That's right. But it's in his time. Amen. Amen. Get up in the morning expecting God to do something. That's expecting right. him to intercede. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just like the farmer. The farmer go out there and he plant his seeds. Amen. And he's mm -hmm. expecting something. Uh -huh. I Amen. planted mustard greens one time in okra. And it looked like the okra wasn't coming up. Right. But after a while I kept nourishing the ground mm -hmm. and watering and this stuff. And my okra grew up. Amen. So it's Amen. the same way with prayer. That's you right. have to get down there on your knees. Amen. Mm -hmm. Commune with God. Go in your Amen. secret closet Amen. and talk to him. And God will answer he prayer. Will. Amen. Amen. I'm going to let my next guest. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Someone who's yes, newly Lord. been ordained. Amen. Hallelujah. 
How y'all doing today? Uh, my name is uh, Kerwin Matthew Broussard, and I'm with uh, Resurrection Sound of Trumpet School and Ministries. And the Lord had ordained me to be a teacher in his word. Amen. And uh, I've spent a lot of time with God. Amen. Amen. And uh, you're right. Prayer is so important. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that's a communication between us and Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. You see? And what people don't understand is this, that in order for us to communicate with God, we have to, we have to know God's heart. Amen. You Hallelujah. see what I'm saying? And to know God's heart, you have to know his word because Amen. his word is him. You see? And I always tell my members, you got to study. You got to study. You got to know the meaning of words. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Lucifer was right next to God. Come on. And he knows God's <laughs> word. Come on. Yes, he you does. see what I'm saying? And if you think you're going to come before him with a lie. Come on. And he don't know it. Yeah. He is a lie. Amen. So he Amen. know when you bring a lie. Amen. So that's why God said it's so important that you for know. us in order to pray effectively with supplication, effective mm -hmm. supplication is we have to know his word. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to understand what his word means. I had a friend of mine, we was discussing over faith, okay? Amen. Now, faith means to believe. That's it. Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying? But how do you get to believe? Right. How do you get to faith? Hallelujah. People say, well, I'm going to pray for faith. You can pray for faith, but God's giving you one answer. All right. Study my word. That's it. Study you see? Mm -hmm. And they say, well, oh, I prayed for faith before and God gave it to me. Yeah, he gave it to you. He gave you the faith Hallelujah. that you know. You see what I'm saying? That's right. The more words you know, the more faith you have. Amen. And the more faith you have, the more effective your prayers Come is. on now. You Amen. see what I'm saying? God understands You see? And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I, like I tell them, God is no respect to person. No, he You doesn't. know? It's not a competition with us. We are children of God. We fight in a war. Amen. You see? And the devil's fighting for keeps, so we need to fight for keeps. And I oh, always yeah. tell people, look. We are not here to fight each other. Come on. You see? Because when we fight each other, that means you have two enemies. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have the enemy of the devil and you have the en enemy of yourself. Right. You see? So God is trying to tell us the actual word minister means to bring together. Mm -hmm. Okay? To bring his people together. together. Amen. When the Bible speaks of the angels, don't you know angel means minister? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. It means messenger of God. That's it. Mm -hmm. And we are all angels mm -hmm. because we are messengers of God. And God told me this. He said, I shall send my angels from the east, the Hallelujah. west, the north, and the south. All right. Hallelujah. And I shall gather my people together oh, yeah. with my angels. Hallelujah. What do you think we're here for? We're here to gather God's people together. Amen. I, I had a friend of mine saying, oh, well, you know, I hope that I manifest myself before God. Well, guess what? You know what I told him? I said, look, this is what we got to do. We got to study God's word. Mm -hmm. We got to seek God wholeheartedly and then choose to manifest ourselves. Amen. Amen. That's how you manifest. Hallelujah. You want revival? Manifest yourself. Amen. Revival comes automatically. People pray for revival. Pray. God said, I sent revival. I sent my word. I sent my son. I sent my spirit. I sent my armor. I sent everything. Yes, he did. What more revival you need? Hallelujah. He said, you choose this day of blessing or curse. Right. And he said, that's the power that I gave you. I gave you a free will. You choose. People say, I'm waiting for the Lord to change me. Oh. Lord's not going to change you. Hallelujah. He already gave you the power to change. Amen. He gave you his spirit, first Amen. of all, which is all of his power. And then he gave you his son, which showed you how to walk. Hallelujah. And then he gave you his armor that he used for war. The whole armor of God. Hallelujah. God used that itself. You see? And let me tell you something. When you have the armor of God, you can't, you can't lose. You cannot lose when you have the arm of God. Hallelujah. But you got to take the arm of God. Amen. You got to study the arm of God. Find out what it is. Find out what you need. The breastplate of righteousness. You see, change your heart. That is the breastplate of righteousness. You see? Hallelujah. God is good. And I'm going to tell you right now, he is sending a people that's going to change this world. And it's called his remnant. He's elect. And the reason why he's doing it, because the time is short. And Jesus is coming back, and he wants to set up his kingdom on this earth. And he's using us to do it. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, overcome evil with good. Yes, Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's Amen. give him Hallelujah. a hand. Hallelujah. 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 Well, glory to God. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're yes, going to take Lord. a break for a second.
and we'll be back momentarily. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't Hallelujah. touch the dial now. Amen. <laughs> Apostle Ronnie Bailey gave his life to our Lord Jesus in 1974, as a born-again believer soon after in 1976. He was baptized in the Holy Spirit and has submitted and committed himself to serving the Lord, all the days of his life. This was evident in 1985 when Apostle Ronnie Bailey answered the call into ministry, resigned his secular employment, being obedient to God's divine plan and the leading of the Holy Spirit became the founder and pastor of Rock of Ages Ministries with a heart of love and a very humble spirit has allowed his gifts to reach out to the lost at all cost. Service to God with a servant's heart, founded Home for the Homeless Shelter, ministering to the whole person by way of sheltering feeding and clothing, as well as helping countless others suffering in the areas of drugs and alcohol bondage and mentally challenged conditions, changing lives through the word by empowering and encouraging many to live a lifestyle of above, and never beneath faithfully trusting in Christ Jesus. Outreach Ministries Apostle Bailey Faithfully trusting God began a radio broadcasting outreach ministry in 1986 and by 1987 obeying God, started his televangelism centered in the vision of preaching, teaching and total deliverance. These TV programs, airing each week in Louisiana covering over 25 cities and parishes, touching tens of thousands of souls forever having a desire to reach the lost at any cost. In 2006 Apostle Bailey launched his first webcast channel via internet, now to date one channel, has grown to over 20 webcast channel being viewed 24 7 and 365 days a year, reaching countless of millions of souls with the gospel of Jesus Christ. In addition to airing and live streaming, television programming on international channels, such as All Nations TV and Bright Star Christian TV, Pakistan, never losing his first love for old-fashioned tent revivals, church conferences, gospel and heritage festivals, and many other outreach programs of all designed to help the lost and share the good gospel news. Throughout his 30 years of faithful service, this mighty man of God has ordained many sons and daughters in the faith, and trusting them with the five-fold ministry and the great commission of Jesus Christ. What is God doing through him now? Apostle Bailey after 17 wires of pastoring. In 2002 God transitioned him into full-time evangelism. New doors were open and opportunities came allowing him to preach the gospel in countries such as Korea, Israel, and Japan. This new anointing of transitional impartation has allowed the fulfilling of prophecy and has established him as a true Latter-day Apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, a help meet from the Lord. In 2002 God blessed Apostle Bailey with a beautiful wife, a missionary from Armory, Japan. Lady-elect Hakako Bailey has also joined the unity in faith, and has vowed to fight against the forces of darkness along with her husband and continue their plight together of worldwide evangelism, faithful to winning the Lost at Any Cost special awards received. Apostle Ronnie and Takako Bailey are now winners of two Black Essence Global Kingdom Builders awards. They are also the recipients of many other national and international and prestigious awards and honors. They have visions and a passion to reach lost souls around the world. In addition to establishing churches and anointing young men and women of the faith, imparting into their lives, while encouraging them to go forth and to accomplish the Great Commission of Jesus Christ, for their lives, families and ministries, would you stand to your feet, and give honor where honor is due? Let us welcome, this great Latter-day Apostle, flowing in the gifts of the Spirit, 
prophetic unction, and able to pull down strongholds, break generational curses, cast out spirits of those addicted and bounded by drug and alcohol abuse, bringing reconciliation and total restoration to lost souls and the body of Christ around their world. Our brother in Christ, a mentor to many, the man of this hour, pastor and overseer of Rock of Ages Media Ministries, International, Apostle Ronnie Bailey. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. I tell you, we're just thanking God for the, the this is such an interesting and, uh, and, and it's right on time topic, which is prayer, fasting, and intercession. Mm -hmm. And that reminds me that Jesus is making intercession for us 24 hours a day, Amen. seven days a week, and the, the devil is saying, uh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make the rapture. Amen. You know, and Jesus is saying, Lord, give them a, a little bit more time That's right. because they just need a little bit more pruning and I'm going to get them ready for the rapture. Can, you, can you say amen to that? Amen. <laughs> amen. And uh, we only have uh, two final guests to do a closing note, but we're going to, Dr. Paul is just going to give you a note on what she has for us and we're going to get into some prayer in these final minutes. Dr. June Paul, Welcome once again. Praise the Lord, Apostle Bill, and everybody else here. Just, uh, I know you've done a very fine job. Amen. Amen. And we just want to, uh, the ABC of prayer, I'm going to leave you for, with a couple of comments. First of all, in order for our prayers to be effective, we must have purity of heart, uh -huh. and we must, must be repentant. Amen. Praise God. And we must be confident that God will answer our prayer if we're walking in communication right. with Him. Another thing is, we must be prepared to be persecuted if we're praying. That's right. If we're Amen. truly praying, Amen. prepare for the persecution, right. even as Daniel did. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And uh, so those are a couple of things. And of course, we know you've already covered the kinds of prayers that we do. Many, mm -hmm. many people have not studied all those particulars, but they know how to pray. Mm -hmm. And uh, another comment is that uh, Daniel... You know what happened to him. But in spite of what they told him, don't do, right. don't pray, he That's did right. it anyway. Amen. Amen. And then Amen. even the king was Amen. repentant and he grieved because he couldn't keep him out of the lion's den. Right. But hallelujah, hallelujah, Daniel through prayer turned things around. Amen. And so you can turn things around in your home, in your neighborhood, in your country, in your nation, wherever you are. Amen. God bless you and keep you is my prayer. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Paul. Thank you, Dr. Paul. And we have a, um, uh, a very special guest, prophetess and elder of this uh, prayer line. You might can briefly tell them. We only have a couple of minutes left. Uh, prophetess Inez Cheatham. Let's give the Lord a hand. Back to her. Amen. Just introduce yourself and give us a little, uh, expound on prayer just a little bit. Praise God. I'm Elder Prophetess Inez Cheatham, and I thank God for prayer. Or, you know, we hear that, um, we've heard the cliche, without prayer, uh, there's no power. No prayer, That's no right. power, little prayer, little power, yeah. much prayer, much power. Right. And praise God on the prayer line that the Lord gave me in uh, November of 2013, uh, we started the prayer line praying an hour, and then we started praying two hours. And now we're praying from 7 a.m. in the morning nonstop until 3.30 in the morning, 3.30 a.m. And uh, we've been seeing many miracles and um, I just thank God that this is the time that we're going to be seeing churches open nonstop all over the nation there are going to be churches open where they won't be closing people will be looking for somewhere to go to pray to hear a word from the Lord amen. so we just thank God for amen. what he's doing in these last days amen 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 amen, amen. Uh, would you pass that to Minister Sharon uh, let us all hold hands in the studio those of you amen. at home amen would you Hold hands with your family Hallelujah. members. And uh, we're going to say a closing prayer. Those that are in our studio at the Amen Corner, we're going to ask them to also come in one accord. And Minister Sharon, you have the mic already? Amen. Would you go forward and just Amen. close us out in prayer? Hallelujah. Amen. Satan, yes. we're going to tear your kingdom down. Go ahead, oh Jesus. Hallelujah. You've been trying to build up your kingdom.
the moment. Yeah. But Satan through prayer, through fasting, Thank you, Jesus. through intercession, my God, God, my God. Yeah. your kingdom down. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of we Jesus. thank you, Lord, we for thank giving us your power, yeah. and your Lord. spirit, yes, Lord. your power, Hallelujah. your spirit yes. to take. Satan's kingdom now, because we are in a prayer in business, Lord Jesus, and we invite every one of you that's listening to the airways and the bowels to pray constantly, ceasing to pray constantly in Jesus' name. Glory unto you, Lord Jesus. We receive your spirit. We receive your power. We receive everything that you have to offer. And we're going to be used. We're going to be used continually, Lord Jesus, as your temple. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because we know you have a master plan. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy. You're precious. You're the great I am. You're the El Shaddai. Prince of Peace. Rose of Sharon. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, the beginning and the end. Glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Teach us your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Teach us your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Teach us your way, Lord. Let us hear you, Lord. Let us hear you, Jesus. We're willing. We will invest us for you, for in you Jesus alone, name. your word. Yes, Lord. Can we say hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Give the Lord a victory. We thank you for tuning in today. And on behalf of Apostle Ronnie Bailey and all of our guests here at Rock of Ages Ministries, we hope that you will take these truths expressed on today's telecast and pass it on to others along your life's journey. We also pray that you join with us in taking this message around the world for Jesus. Remember, we can't beat God giving, no matter how hard we try. For the more we give unto him, the more he'll give back into us. Now, if you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourselves to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. If you would like to write us, please send all correspondences to Rock of Ages Ministries, 201 South College Road, Suite 214, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. And remember to add your prayer request. Our email address is ronnie at ronniebailey.com. And our website can be accessed anytime at ronniebailey.com. You may also watch our telecast on our brand new webcast channel at www.voh.com slash channels slash Rock of Ages TV. And enjoy our telecast anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at your convenience. Once again, we thank you for tuning in today. We trust that you have been blessed. Now, until next time, about this same scheduled time, may God bless you. This is my prayer.